Hi everyone, my name is Casper and I'm here to take you through another champion spotlight. Today we're looking at the champion whose first love is a mallet and second love is smashing things with it. You know who I'm talking about, it's Trunda Guilt Mallet. Trunda is a powerful legendary attack champion with multiple AoE attacks. Given her skill set, she can fill multiple roles. You can build her as a simple damage dealer, but because she brings some stun debuffs, she can put in some serious work as a crowd controller if you build her as a hybrid and sacrifice some attack for more speed and accuracy. Her stats are good, but nothing special. But, like other dwarves, she does have 80 resistance, which means she's hard to lock down and she can keep dealing out damage and stunning the enemy team. Her first skill is simple. It hits an enemy twice, with a good chance to stun them after the second hit. Hard crowd control on her first skill is never something to sniff at. It also does a surprising amount of damage, if you're into that sort of thing. Her second skill, Cloak of Ages, is a hard-hitting single target nuke that then adds a boatload of AoE damage on top based on the damage that the first hit deals. If you choose your first target wisely and absolutely obliterate a squishy, the AoE can deal out insane damage to everyone else on the enemy team. Forge Rhythm's her third skill, and it's kind of a monster. It's an AoE attack that hits super hard with a high chance of stunning everyone it touches, and then setting them on fire if they get stunned. And if it doesn't stun an enemy, she'll smash them in the face with the second hit for good measure, not one for the faint-hearted. Her passive skill is Swift Justice, which gives her extra resistance and speed for the debuffs she puts out. Alongside her stun debuffs, this helps make her super viable as a hybrid. Add her high base resistance in with the boosted resistance from this passive and she becomes incredibly hard to lock out of a fight. Couple that with her increased speed and she just keeps taking turns and pumping out the stuns. Taking everything into account, Trinda's very flexible in the ways you can build her. She's great as a raw damage dealer, but she might be even better as a hybrid. Built fast with high accuracy while maintaining as much attack as possible. Trunda's fantastic at dealing with waves of multiple enemies, whether you want her for her crowd control or you want her to straight up nuke them into oblivion. She's equally comfortable doing both. And that's our Trunda Spotlight. Like always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Until next time, happy raiding.